Hello folks, back again in the review. My first impression, Azaro Porom Intense EDP. I purchased it online, uh, $45. It was a blind buy. I had to do a blind buy because first of all, this is considered to be a hidden gem and it is a hidden gem by the way. Under $45, it's no brainer. Beautiful juice. Secondly, um, check out the bottle. It's amazing. Brown and orange combination. Thirdly, it has a nice review uh, on YouTube. Uh, considered to be close to Pure Malt and Pure Havan. And one of the reviewers even said that it's better than Pure Malt. And the moment I heard, I, I was sold. It really helped me uh, buying online uh, blindly. So when I spray it for the first time on my arm, uh, there is a wood, woody thing and there is a spices in it. It's sweet, uh, dark, yet I did, not, uh, I did not get any note of cognac or boozy. But it did reminded me of Pure Malt Creation 2013, which I used to have maybe five years ago. And I had a chance to give it a full wearing. Then I gave it to my brother for testing and he never returned me. So I'm very happy that my blind buy is successful, that I'm getting the same vibe now in this bottle. Now when it started to going towards dry, uh, dry down, the backbone of this uh, fragrance, which is said to be the actual Zaroporom, uh, because it's a flanker. Um, now, please forgive me on that. I never happened to smell the actual Zaroporum, so I cannot really uh, give my opinion on that. However, uh, the backbone, how does it smell like? For To my nose, it smells like uh, that soapy and minty thing. Probably it is coming from iris and lavender. Now, does that make this fragrance old school? No. Does it make that fragrance very modern? No. It is something in between. That's the feeling of the fragrance. You know, now if you still buy Pure Malt, Pure Havan, or any of the Angel Men, Pure Thierry Mugler series, uh, you that's the same feeling. Not too old, not too modern. Um, now, the third important thing what I've learned about this fragrance uh, with that uh, soapy and minty thing it and that pure malt thing when they are combining with each other these notes it's making this fragrance this opening a new door to to my nose and guess what that's pure tonka now i happened to sniff pure tonka recently and i did not see a reason to buy it because i couldn't decide what what is the right occasion to wear pure tonka it was a beautiful fragrance by the way still it is does it apply to the same Azaroporum, that there is no particular occasion to wear it? Uh, the answer is no. There is. Um, if you see this fragrance, uh, you can still pull it off in your at your office because of that backbone, that fresh lavender and that iris thing, the soapy and minty thing. However, go light on the trigger. But what is then the actual occasion to wear it? In my humble opinion, you know, the immediately comes to my mind is, you know, you know the high-end bar where you get to go with your smart casual dressing. That's the perfect, perfect occasion. Uh, that's a true interpretation of this fragrance where that's and the winters. Now, of course, the million dollar question, is this a fragrance, a cologne of pure malt and pure Havan or pure Tonka? No, it's not because it has its originality, which is its backbone of original Azoroporum. Hats off to the perfumer, splendid job. How he was able to do that, amazing. Um, I would say this fragrance is inspired by that Amen and the flankers and all. Um, the perfect example is going to be like Chris Brown and you know, 
Justin Timberlake, these people have their originality, yet they are inspired by Michael Jackson and their, his, his moves and all. That's a perfect example. So I'm very excited to have it in my collection and I'm really looking forward now to wear it, give it a full wearing for four or five days and then uh, make my final impression and conclusion. Till then, uh, you guys take care and game is on. Ciao.